Welcome Cancers, this is the Energy Vibration um, reading, business reading for the Aquarian season. The Aquarian season begins from the 20th of January until the 18th of February. This is where we look at our um, abundance, money and prosperity for the Aquarian season, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, go in. Remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and show your love. Heartbreaks for a fire sign person, they have now recognized and see the truth of who this person is. So a lot of you who are dealing with a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius, I see they recognize who this person is. And uh, um, now I see they're bringing an end uh, to whatever this person has done. Whoever this person is, they're bringing an end to some sort of a situation for this person. I see real heartbreaks is coming up for a young fire sign person because they're recognizing the dishonesty of a young fire sign person at the workplace and they're bringing the cycle to an end. So this is going to be really powerful because a lot of people are going to be recognizing who a young fire sign person is and what this young fire sign person have created and how this young fire sign person have created some sort of a issue on the work floors and create some sort of a um false play at the workplace and they're recognizing what has transpired so you guys have 26 8 um 26 8 is about some sort of a problem at the workplace that is going to be coming up at this timeline so we have 21 plus two and plus 21 um plus two is 23 and three is 26 26 8 okay so use two six and eight in this um sagittarian period that is going to be your energy or frequency if they're your unlucky numbers don't use them two six and eight if they are your unlucky number do not use them but if they're not 26 8 whatever to do with 26 8 2 6 or 8 it is your frequency your number numerological frequency for this timeline so people are not recognizing and not understanding what was happening what was transpiring and it's a scene that a uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius person is not speaking the truth and now they're recognizing they're bringing the cycle to an end they recognize what this person have done so um communication um whoever this person is a lot of you are going to be recognizing the horrible horrible situation that uh, um a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius person have brought you in so um the three of swords is saturn in libra saturn in libra ladies and gentlemen now saturn in libra um is dealing with the reputation it's as if uh, some of you um cancer's reputation is uh, being ruled by um a, a libran or a libran um so grief is going to be coming up for a lot of you who deals with a Libran, it's like Saturn is the planet that rules the 10th house. So it has to do with reputation. And Libran um, is as if some of you are going to be recognizing that in the first week, a Libran tried to ruin your reputation, whether man or woman. First thing I saw was a woman, a Libran woman tried to ruin some of your reputation. And I see um, you are going to be taking back your powers. You recognize who this person is and what this person is all about. Some sort of a painful situation is going to be coming up in the third week. And the first week that is have to do with a Libra. And so um, the week of the 20th to the 26th, a lot of you are dealing with some sort of uh, with a Libra. This is Saturn. Saturn is a planet of the 10th arrows. And it is the planet um, Saturn in Libra has to do with a liberal person who tried to ruin some of your reputation or ever ruin some of your reputation or try to ruin some of your reputation. So I see heartbreaks for you cancer. So, so it is definitely a woman. The first um, vision I see was a woman. So a lot of you 
um, or dealing, you cancers are dealing with this Libran um, in this first uh, season of this timeline where you're recognizing what this Libran has done and tried to ruin um, your reputation. And I see a lot of you are going to be recognizing um, if you're, you know, you are having some sort of an issue on the work floor or something to do with your financial flow is a Libran who tries to ruin your reputation. I see that Saturn in Libran, you're going to be eradicating and moving this Libran out of uh, your world in the first week. So you're going to be recognizing that. In the second week, you're dealing with the Knight of Wands. Now, in the second week, the week of the second week begins from the 27th until the 2nd of February. It's 27th until the 2nd of February. Now, what is um, happening here in this week uh, is you're dealing with hair uh, of fire, hair of fire. Now, this energy of this air of fire is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. An air of fire, it speaks for itself. This person is coming um, fast, but um, with an ego as huge as what, and then approaching you um, ruggedly, um, viragus, and you're standing your ground as if, nope, it's not happening. Do not even try to do this because it's not happening. So, I see a lot of you. It's like standing back and watching this person coming with all this power and everything because this person recognized that, hey, you recognize who they are and you are dealing with the situation. And when we look at uh, um, the energies of this fire and hair, is someone that is coming to you viragus within and, and, and is speaking and you're like, really? Um, this is not happening, okay? So you're dealing with a lot of air sign people. It is the energy of the Aquarian, but some of you are dealing with the Librans. We're looking at the third week now. The third week is from the third until the ninth. The third until the ninth. And uh, the third until the ninth. So um, the two of swords, moon in Libran. So a lot of you, the moon in Libran. Oh my God. So a lot of you are dealing with the Librans. You Cancers are dealing with the Librans. And when you're dealing with so much Librans, it can be uh, um, legal issues. Okay, so Librans is the house, um, the seventh house. The, the house of the Libran is the seventh house. So some sort of a legal situation with the work, um, some sort of a legality is, is coming up. So people are going to be recognizing. So we have the moon in Libran in this week and the moon in Libran is about secrecy some sort of a legal situation some sort of a secrecy of a Libran is going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing even though it is upright in a business reading is that people are going to be seen through the veil of illusion the moon um so that is the moon in Libran and people are recognizing something um the moon in Libra, because the house, the Libran house is the eighth house, okay? And the moon is about secrecy. It's about information, untold information. So some of you are dealing with a Libran, but this Libran is not being honest um, to you. So recognize this, okay? So in the week of the um, the third to the ninth, you're dealing with a Libran, some sort of a legal issue for some of for some of you, but some of you are dealing with a Libran. The Libran is not speaking the truth. The Libran is secretive. Um, so the Libran is not showing up their end. So be aware of this Libran in the third week. That is the week of uh, the third until the ninth of February. This Libran has a lot of secrets, and this Libran knows a lot about an Aries Leo or such uh, in person and is not alerting you guys. So you gotta be aware of this Libran. This Libran have a lot of secrecy that they are keeping and they're not showing their hands, okay? That is when people are not showing their hands. They're laughing, talking with you, but they know a lot and they're not showing their hands and you're going to be recognizing this, okay? So be aware of a Libran in um, the third week. As we look in the fourth week, the fourth week is that a cycle is going to be over. A cycle is going to be over with some sort of a situation with a Libran, an Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius a person. The cycle is going to be over. Um, the universe is linked with Saturn. 
And this is what I say to a lot of people. You've got to recognize what is happening. So a cycle is going to be over because um, a Libra and a fire sign person try to ruin your reputation. And I see you're going to be closing off these people and the cycle to these people and whatever they were doing. Um, and that is going to be happening um, the 10th of February to the 18th of February. So the 10th of February to the 18th of February, you are going to be closing off this cycle to these people and what they were doing. Okay. Um, so it's Saturn. It's about reputation. It's a 10th house. Saturn is about reputation. It's about the 10th house associated with, um, enlightenment, the individual prosperity, victory, allness, and a completion with a group of people. And I think that this is going to be much better for you um, because you're dealing with a Libra and a, a um, Aresley or a Sagittarius person between the age of 18 and 45. And you are going to be recognizing because the Libra has a lot of secrets, okay? And um, the fire sign person is heartbroken and the fire sign person is going to be coming back to some of you and say, hey, you know, the Libra is very secretive and the Libra um, don't tell you everything. And, and you're going to be recognizing that. So I see in order to heal your reputation, you're going to be ending some sort of a 10 to 16. You're going to be ending some sort of a situation where you were connected with a Libra and Aries Lear, or Sagittarius or some sort of a legal situation is going to be coming to an end the week of the 10 to the 16 because um, people recognize and have been seeing the truth about the play of a Libra and a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person. They're going to be recognizing what these people have done and how these people and they're going to be closing off a cycle. So um, you are no longer uh, going to be affected by these people or they're going to be ending a cycle where you can't just can't connect with these people anymore. However, this is transpired. These two people were the one that was blocking your financial flow and this is going to be released. So a positive, positive, positive Aquarian is bringing in some sort of a positive um, energies and releasing um, you cancers from some issues that you were dealing with. I got to go. Um, show your love by thumbs up. Remember to use the blue button that says join in order to see your, your um, symbols. I got to go.